Jobbies, you know, with the introductions are next for that. He was described as a modest man a minute ago, like, but he's a brainy man in my eyes. I'd like to call Peter Keane to say a few words. The man with the plan. Thanks, Mike. This is some night to be here. Any club to be in a situation like this, to bring all of these people out, to welcome home a captain, not alone a captain, but a Ryder Rovers type player who gave a Ryder Rovers type performance yesterday. What an occasion. That's fantastic here tonight to look at all the people and to see his relations here and the club making a special effort to welcome them all. I see Barry is after travelling up here as well, Fergus from, with, along with a lot of people from Listroy after coming in. And that's what it's all about, bringing it back to community. I was lucky to be born lucky rather than rich and the beauty about it is that I ended up on my feet with a gang here who were fantastic footballers, it was easy to do it. Myself, Tommy and James, the way we did it was that Tommy and James would look after the team and I'd only one job this year. That job was to mind Dermot. <laughs> Myself and Dermot had two sessions a week, Monday morning and Friday evening. And they consisted of, Pete, how's it going? How's he doing? I think he's fine. Yeah, he's going well, he's eating okay. Yeah, girlfriend is all right, yeah. She's looking after him. Everything is good. To Friday evening, look, I'm going to have a pint over the weekend. You can look after him for the weekend. <laughs> so we shared it out. He looked after him for the weekend, I looked after him for the weekend. And he looked after all of us this weekend. Fair play to you, David. I don't have a whole pile much to say. We spoke all right in, all, uh, earlier on tonight inside in Killarney. I just want to thank everybody who's been involved. There's been a great work rate by all the people. Um, this thing doesn't happen with just one. Tim mentioned there, Tim mentioned about Sean Horan and Mark Ash, who were two players who got injured earlier on in the season. They, they hurt the cruciate ligaments, which had put them out for a year. And in fairness to the county board, Tim and Christy put their hands in their pocket and brought these two guys with us on the journey for the Munster final and for the All Ireland final. They're here in their finest suits, they had their gear and they've had a great weekend and it was great for the team that these guys became part of it as well this weekend. It's a bit like being in the army, we left no one behind. Just to finish off, we were in, um, in Crow Park yesterday and Tommy gets a bit, little bit sticky before games, he gets a little bit edgy. 
and um, he walked over to the stand and he met some young fella who was four or five that he knew and the child says is, um, is David Clifford here and Tommy looks at him and Tommy didn't kind of fully realize that he was only five he kind of think he's 55 and Tommy's saying Jesus Christ he says well if he's not here I'm going home and I think that sums it up and tonight is all about David Clifford and it's great to be here and thanks to the club for putting this up thank you Cheers, Peter. One more for me, the last thanks. I suppose on a special night for Kerry Football as well as for Sujay Club, I'd like to call Jim Moriarty, one of the founding members of the club, just to introduce our main men. Thanks, Mike. It's a historic night. First four in a row, as Tim said. The 15th uh, Kerry mine, the 15th time the Tom Merkin Cup has come to Kerry. And looking at the list of captains, those 15, 14 that came before David, you see where they come from. Going back to 1933, Timmy Leary from Megerton View in the Killarney Legion Club. Um, Mick Braston from my van in 1950. In 1963, they won two in a row, and Tommy O'Hanlon from Tarbot. Tom D from Belly Longford in 1980, Robert Bunyan from Belly Dunahoo in 1975. And it all brings home the sense of place that the GA has. And tonight that place is Fossen. <laughs> and yesterday when after the game we were in a hostelry in Dublin and people said, where exactly is Fossa? Where they could recall what Michael Fassbender said that Killarney was just a little bit east of us. So it's nine square miles in the northern shores of Loch Lane, and the man who has put it on the map is one David Clifford. So now I'd ask him to say a few words to you of 15 Captain David Clifford. I suppose firstly, look, I'll get on to the, the, just a few formalities to get all the way first, I suppose. Just to, uh, just to a bunch of players that are standing here behind me, I could, obviously, this wouldn't be possible without them. You know, a hard-working and dedicated bunch of players, so thank you. Um, I'd just like to especially give a special mention to two fellas there, just Baker Clifford from Glorgan and Patrick Warren from Ginnigulla. Two fellas, in fairness to them, put, put their college lives on hold, decided to take a year out and just to play for us for the year. So, lads, thanks very much. Just <laughs> uh, to the management team, and especially Peter, I suppose, as Mike said, the brains behind the operation. <laughs> I remember saying last night, ever since the first time I met Peter, I'm shitless of him since. So. <laughs> I think that's a good sign. Look, I won't go into all the names, but just lads, you know who you are. Thanks very much. <laughs> just to the county board and Tim Murphy, the chairman here behind me, just thanks to them for their continued support, I suppose. You know, everything we ever wanted down through the year was facilities, gear, anything. They've been there to, to supply it for us. So thanks very much, lads. Finally, I suppose our sponsors, Kerry Group, for as I said, for their continued support. I remember saying in Killarney that they are actually the longest, they're the longest sporting um, sponsorship of any inter-county team in Ireland. So I think that's a, that's a great trial to them. So thanks to them. And finally, I suppose how could I forget? Just to the people of Fossa, everyone that's here tonight, everyone that's. Everyone that's worked with me down for the years and the training team and everything they've done for me, so it's the only one word I can say to you is thanks very much, lads. I hope I don't forget them here now, but I just have to make a special mention, just a few fellas of Foster just, just that have been with me all through the years. So just firstly to Willie Buckley, I can see him standing on there. You can ring Willie at 12 o'clock at night looking for keys for footballs and he would be down in a second, so that's Willie for you. Just uh, James O'Shea, <laughs> I don't think he needs an introduction, thanks James. <laughs> and again, Mr. Murray Talbot, Adrian Sheehan, uh, Jean Moriarty, Tommy, Mike Kelly, and here behind me, I hope I'm not forgetting anyone, but 
It's not personal if I do. Thanks, guys. I suppose I'd just like to conclude by saying how, how proud I am to be standing in front of the people here tonight, you know. It's fine to be recognised nationally and all that, but I think it's once the people who are closest to you have a, have a good impression of you, I think that's the main thing, so I hope I'm doing you all right, lads. Thanks very much. Cheers. David, you're not quite finished yet, okay? That's what we're doing. We're going to get David to sing a song. He's very good at the night visiting song, lad. So to finish up, David's going to sing. But we all have to join in. He's too shy, lads. He's too shy. In about three hours' time, I do a few, lads. Don't worry. All right. We'll give it up one more time for David Clifford and the Kelly Miners in the men's team. Well done.